Spiritual Renewal Reflection for Friday, August 28, 2020. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, O oh God, you are my God, I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. Which is Psalm 63 and verse 1. The accompanying doctrinal text is John 7, verse 37, which reads, let anyone who is thirsty come to me. And let us pause to reflect on today's watchword. O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. Now biblical scholars tell us that David wrote this psalm while he was in the desert near the Dead Sea, hiding from his son Absalom, who had attempted to replace him. As king of Israel. In this moment of uncertainty, King David turned to God, the one who had rescued him before, the God who had saved him from King Saul's jealousy. David's desire in this moment of crisis is to appeal to God's generosity. David believed God would rescue him again. When the Moravians in the small town of Bertelsdorf in Hernhut, Germany, gathered for worship with Holy Communion on August 13, 1727, many felt estranged from their fellow worshippers. Jealousy and uncertainty greatly contributed to their unhappiness. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit showed up and turned everything upside down. Stubborn hearts melted when they prayed, and God's forgiveness was readily accepted. The worshipers left that church with changed hearts and a renewed commitment to serve Jesus Christ by sharing God's message of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. The presence of COVID-19 in our midst caused us to close our worship places. Christians have been compelled to view these places from a distance. However, there is a bright side. God is in control and God is watching over us. Like the Psalmist David, we thirst for a demonstration of God's power over the pandemic that continues to kill thousands every day, especially the elderly. Like David, we acknowledge no God but Jehovah, the God who cares, protects, and provides. Let us recommit ourselves to worship Him as Lord of our lives. In times like these, our souls thirst for the presence of the God who protects us from that which may harm us. In times like these, our hearts and minds thirst for the assurance that no matter what, God will take care of us. In times like these, we need the Holy Spirit to descend on us, to renew us, to strengthen us, and recommission us with a new purpose. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being you. We thank you for sending your Holy Spirit upon those early Moravians who embraced the new purpose of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with the peoples of the Caribbean. Help us to discern where we may join you in your work of expanding your kingdom on this island. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.